Okay, before we start on part 19, let's always start with the end in mind. What I'm going to do is come down here and look at what part 19 is going to look like. So I'm going to click on this. And this is what we're shooting for right here. We're shooting for a drawing that has our name in it, has the scale, has the part number, and it can be printed out on a standard uh, laser printer or inkjet printer. This is what we're shooting for. So this is what we're going to actually create. Uh, following in the rest of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to come back here to AutoCAD. Now, we've already gotten our border sheet done, so let's just go ahead and open up that border sheet. Okay, there it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this file as a new file. I'm going to call this, I've already started one drawing, Part 19 Test, and so we're going to call, go ahead and just call this one Part 19. I'm just going to call this one Ortho. ISO. So that way I can track which one I'm working on. I'll give it a version number 001. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, right now it's currently set to, uh, get out of this, it's currently set to layer 3. And we've got our paper uh, layer out there and we've got all this. So we're ready to actually start drawing. I'm going to go ahead and lock the uh, uh, ISO layer and lock the dimensions layer. Uh, we already said part 19, so we'll have to change it to part 20. Uh, in the border sheet on the next drawing so that way you can keep tracking which was the last one we worked on. Alright, it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get a line up here and let's start laying this out. Oh, let's check a few things first. Here, let me get escape out of that. Let's make sure that uh, we have our object snaps all set up. End point down to tangent. That's all good. Let's make sure that we're setting at a one to one scale. That's fine. Now what I've done on this is I've gone ahead over here on my polar tracking and I've and turn that on. I'm making sure that I'm set to 30, 60, 90. And the reason is we'll find that out in the ISO. So we'll go ahead and accept that. So let's go ahead and get started. Got all the layers up here. That's all good. Collapse that and collapse that. Every time I get close to this edge, that layer thing pops out. So I'll go ahead and shut that again and shut that again. It's kind of annoying, but I like the way it works. Okay, so back to place line. We'll come up here and select place line. And since we got our snaps on, we'll go ahead and we'll come out here and we'll snap to that side right there. <clears throat> hit escape, hit space bar, because that was the last command we were in. And we'll just come down here and snap on that, hit escape. Now, the next thing we're going to do is do an offset. Okay, it says specify an offset distance. We're going to say one inch. What we're going to do is going to click on this guy, go to one inch. Uh, click on that guy, go to one inch. Click on this and go up to one inch. Click on this and down to one inch. That's good. Hit escape. Now we're just going to drag a, uh, we're going to create a, uh, a selection between these two here. Hit the erase command and they are gone. So we'll go find our fin friendly tr uh, trim command. We'll select on it. It says select objects. We'll click here, click there. And so we'll accept those objects and we're just going to trim those out right here going counterclockwise. Getting those out of here. And let's try to get that one going. There. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to take this one and get rid of him as well. Hit delete. Okay, so now we've got our four quadrants set up. We got our top, our front, our right. Okay, let's go back and look at the drawing. I think I have my uh, web browser up. So let's go find my web browser. Okay, so we need to draw this uh, two inches over to the right. Actually, let's go to the web browser, not Acrobat. So we'll come down here to this. And we'll say it's four inches across, so half of four inches is going to be two inches, correct? I hope so. So we'll say two inches. Again, offset. And it's a specified distance. I'm going to say two inches. Click this one. That way. That way. And okay, that's good. So let's uh, go back to the uh, drawing here. So two and a half inches on the height, so that would be one and a quarter. So we'll go to offset again, hit escape, and we'll come up here to offset, and we'll say one and a quarter, 1.25. Okay. We'll select this guy right here, come down. We'll go ahead and select this guy here and come down. All right. That's pretty good. Let's go back and look at our, uh, our drawing again. Okay, so the thickness of this part, or the height of it is, right here it says one and a half. So half of one and a half is 0.75. So again, escape, find our friend the offset command. 0.75 is our distance. We'll click on him, go up, 
I'll click on him and go over. Right, that's pretty good. Hit escape. Now let's go ahead and trim these out. So I'm going to trim. Whoops, went the wrong way there. Hit escape. Let's go to trim. Just going to draw a line around uh, this. And oh, I'm doing this all wrong. Let's do it this way. We'll say select those. We hit trim. And I'll get rid of him. Him. I'll be able to just go ahead and draw like that. Get rid of all those. Yeah, it worked out pretty good, didn't it? Get rid of him. Okay, hit escape. Now this is a pretty good stopping point here. So we got basically the envelope of the object uh, lines of the all four pride of the all four views done. This is technically not going to be used for the uh, as part of the ISO drawing. We're using it because of this anchor point right here. Okay, that looks good for now. We'll take a quick little break and come back to this.